I wish I could make reaction videos, but I was born in 1956. I've heard all these songs. What could I possibly react to? Hey Whippersnappers, Brian here at Abuma Reacts. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. I listen to rap and hip hop songs using lyric videos, and then I let you know what I thought about them. Uh, today we're doing a poll winner. I did uh, five um, options uh, of artists that I have not reacted to yet. And Ice T won with uh, Six in the Morning. Kind of shocking that I've been doing this for almost a year and I have not done uh, an Ice T song yet. And he's one of those artists like um, when I did Queen Latifah, you know, they've just been around forever. Um, and their household names, but, you know, we never stop to, you know, give them credit for their longevity. It's, it's just kind of amazing when you stop and think about it. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, before I react to a song, I like to uh, do a little bio of the artist if I haven't reacted to them before. Just, you know, who, what, where, and why. Um, and then I'll get into the reaction. Ice-T was born Tracy Marrow, Marrow, M-A-R-R-O-W, could be pronounced Marrow like in your bone, or could be pronounced Barrow, Marrow, I'm going to go with Marrow. Ice-T was born Tracy Marrow in Newark New, Jer Newark, New Jersey on February 16th, 1958. Oh, Ice-T is a boomer. Uh... His family soon moved to Upscale Summit, New Jersey. His mother died of a heart attack when he was eight, and he was raised by a single father until he died when Tracy was 13, also of a heart attack. Oh. Tracy went to live with an aunt and uncle in upper middle class neighborhood in South LA. He shared a room with his cousin Earl, who only listened to rock music, and this sparked Tracy's interest in heavy metal. In high school, Tracy stood out from his friends because he did not drink or smoke or do drugs. He began reading the novels of Iceberg Slim, an ex-pimp who wrote about life on the streets. He memorized passages which he re would recite to his friends who enjoyed it so much that they would ask him to read some more of that ice tea, giving him his famous nickname. That is some uh, pretty good trivia right there. You're welcome. After high school, he had a pregnant girlfriend to support, and selling weed and stealing car stereos did not make ends meet. So in 1977, he joined the Army. It was in the Army when Ice-T became interested in hip-hop, and he purchased two Technic turn turntables uh, and a mixer and had hopes of making it as a DJ. After the army, his dream was realized and he started to DJ at parties, but he received more attention for the rapping he did over the beats. In 1982, he signed with Saturn Records and released several electro hip-hop records, including Cold Wind Madness, Body Rock, and Killers. He was finding that his lyrics and form of delivery did not fit these beats. At a club, he heard Schooly D's song, P.S.K., and was immediately drawn to the song's style and delivery and its vague references to gang life. I got a few comments about uh, Schooly D and, and this song when I reacted to, um, what was that one where it was like, uh, I said it was, uh, you know, like the first gangster rap song instead of, you know, what happened on, in, on the West Coast. Um, the KRS one, um, criminal minded boogie down, boogie, boogie down productions. That's what it was. <clears throat> anyway, so I got a lot of, I got a lot of comments about Schoolie D. Uh, using that inspiration, he wrote six in the morning and combined it with minimal beat with a minimal beat with a Roland TR 808. He recorded the song as a B side to his 1986 single, Doggin' the Wax. And he learned that in clubs, the B-side was more popular than the A-side. The conclusion he drew from this fact was that music about gang life was the direction he should go. 
1987, Ice-T released his debut album, Rhyme Pace, and its first single, Six in the Morning. The song was produced by Compton's most wanted associate, the unknown DJ. We don't know who it is. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I think I'm funny. Okay, uh, there's no uh, lyric video, so I'm just going to scroll uh, while I listen. Okie doke. Six in the morning, police at my door. Fresh Shadita squeak across the bathroom floor. Out my back window, I take my escape. Didn't even get a chance to grab my old school tape. Mad with no music, but happy because free. And the streets to a player is the place to be. Got a knot in my pocket, way at least the grand. Gold on my neck, my pistol's close in hand. I'm a self-made monster of the city streets. Remotely controlled by hard hip-hop beats. But just living in the city is a serious task. Didn't know what the cops wanted, didn't have time to ask. Word. See my homeboys cooling way, way out. Told them about my morning cold, bugged them out. Shot a little dice, then my knees got sore. Kicked around some stories about the night before. Posse to the corner where the fly girls chill. Threw action at some freaks till one bitch got ill. She started acting silly, simply would not quit. Call us all punk pussy, said we are one shit. As we walked over to a hoe, continued to speak. So we beat the bitch down in the goddamn street. But just living in the city is a serious task. Bitch didn't know what hit her, didn't have time to ask. Continue clocking freaks with immense posteriors Rolling in a blazer with a Louis interior Solid gold, the ride was raw Bust the left turn was on Crenshaw Shiny shine with the driver, don't need your freaks hell Had a beeper going off like a high school bell Looked in the mirror, what did we see? Fucking blue lights, LAPD Pigs searched our car, their day was made Found an Uzi 44 and a hand grenade was in the county, high-powered block No freaks to see, no beats to rock Didn't want trouble, but the shit must fly Squabble with the sucker, shanked him in the eye But just living in the county is a serious task Nigga didn't know what happened, didn't have time to ask Word. Back on the streets after five in the deuce Seven years later, but still had to choose. My homeboy here in G put me up on the track. Told me E's rolling villain, BJ's got the sack. Bruce is a giant, that C's clocking dough. Bebop's a pimp, my old freaks are ho. The batting ram's rolling, rocks are the thing. Life has no meaning and money is king. Then he looked at me slowly and hit and had to grin. He said, man, you out early, we thought you got ten. Opened up a safe, kicked me down with cold cash. Knew I would get busy, he didn't waste time to ass. When I got it done on my shoulders and legs Hard from the joint with a lot of my heart I didn't want trouble but the shit had to start Out with my crew, some punks got loud Shotgun blasts cycled through the crowd Six punks hit, two punks died All casualties were applied to their side Human lives at the past, just to talk a bunch of trash We didn't know who they were, no one had time to ask Reached in my pocket, put my 44. Dove across the room, peeped out the window. 20 cops jumped behind a pinto. Out the back door like some damn track stars. Broke down an alley, jumped into a car. Suckers didn't even see us. They must have been blind. Black wire touched red. The car was mine. We hadn't done nothing, but some suckers got shot. Hit the first turn, goddamn roadblock. Broke through the block and we did it fast. Cops would have shot us on sight. They wouldn't have took my ass. <laughs> Gave chase at a serious speed. One more conviction, 
was on my knee. This shit was for real, it was no lottie dotty, cause the boys had to pin this shit on somebody. And me and my crew, we were known to get ill. We carried heat for protection, but not to kill. We bust a corner doing 60, one police car spun. And all I was thinking was murder one. Bust the move into an alley and did it right. And me and my crew were gone into the night. Broke to my old ladies who threw me a bath. She didn't even know what happened, didn't care, didn't care. This girlie was my worldly, a natural freak. She ran her tongue over each and every part of me. Then she rocked my Amadeus while I watched TV. A technician with a mission, that's what she was. If there had been a crowd, she would have gotten applause. This girl did everything on earth to me that could be done. Then she backed off and teased me so I couldn't come. Then she cold got stupid, pushed me on the floor. Had me begging to stop while I was screaming for more. After she waxed my body, she let me crash. She knew what loving was deaf, she didn't waste time to ask. Up the next morning feeling good as hell Sleeping with a girly show beats the cell Hit the boulevard in my AMG Hoes catching with lash trying to glimpse the teeth Ring on my mobile, yes cellular Got to have a phone when I'm in my car With my homeboy red, some stays insane Broke his bitch jar for smoking cane Told me to meet him at the airport Said he's jumping bail, said he just left court Caught the first thing smoking in a serious dash We didn't know where we were going, didn't care, didn't ask Fell asleep on the plane and so did he Woke up chilling in NYC Called him a posse when I got there Hit the Latin Quarter in Union Square Rooftop Devil's Nest, the rest we passed Back door to Palladium just for class About 4 a.m. we crashed the deuce We never catch static cause my boys got juice Deuce to the Bronx to rest our heads Where a shootout jumped off, nine people left dead It sounded like it happened with a Mac-10 blast But it was six in the morning, we didn't wake up to ask <laughs> Um, I really like that, that it was very 80s. It was kind of like the 80s uh, hip hop that I used to listen to, you know, before uh, um, gangster rap started and, and turned me off. Um, uh, uh, he, 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 he rapped in the same style they did back in the 80s. You know, not a whole lot of rhyme scheme. It was just, you know, two lines that rhymed. Um, it reminds me kind of of um, uh, Ice Cube. It was a nice day. Another ice. Um, it was a nice day, you know, where he told the story of his day. And this was, you know, much longer because he was in prison for seven years during this. Um, but it kind of had the same feel, you know, just telling the story of his life as opposed to the story of Ice Cube's day. Uh, there was a line in here about Rock Me Amadeus. I don't know um, if you guys know. In the 80s, there was a a song by a German guy named Falco who had a song called Rock Me Amadeus. Um, so that stuck out at me. I don't know if uh, you you young whippersnappers uh, would know that reference. Um, all in all, I, I really liked it. It was long, though. That was 10 verses. Um, and the hook was just the, you know, bump, bump, bump <laughs> word. <laughs> um, but, you know, totally understandable. I, I probably didn't need the lyrics, um, so it'd be a great car song, you know, to sing with your friends because, you know, you know the words. Unlike, you know, trying to uh, rap along to a Busy Bone or something. Um, well, thanks for voting for that, guys. Finally got to Ice Tea. Uh, if you like this kind of content, give me a like and a subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.